I recently published my 2021 web dev roadmap. If you've seen it, you're probably overwhelmed. It will take you years to learn all of these technologies. If you haven't seen it, check it out and download the free PDF. The link is in the description. In this video, I want to simplify it for you. I'll tell you the minimum that you need to know to get your first job as a web developer so that you can know when to start applying for a job and where to look for jobs. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking the video and subscribing. So what are the minimum requirements? Well, you have to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those are the minimum requirements. You can even get a job with just HTML and CSS knowledge if you're just dealing with front-end design, but I would recommend becoming familiar with JavaScript too. So be sure to learn HTML5 and Symantec HTML, learn CSS including Flexbox, Grid, Animations and Transitions, and Responsive Design. When learning JavaScript, be sure to learn all of the newer ES6 Plus features like let const, arrow functions, classes, promises, async await, high order array methods, and you'll also need to understand how to get data from the back end or another source. This is generally done by using something like the Fetch API or a JavaScript library called Axios. Another thing that you'll need to understand is JSON. If the front end is receiving data, it's generally going to be in the form of JSON. So understand how that's structured. You can learn all of these topics on my channel. I'll have links in the description below. After learning these things, you should be able to build a basic website. Start building some things, make a portfolio website, and put a few projects on there that demonstrate your capabilities. Now don't put projects on your portfolio that come straight out of a tutorial or course though. If you do have one of those projects in your portfolio, it needs to have your own spin on it, some type of improvement that you've added to it. The biggest advice that I can give you is build things. Just watching a tutorial and following along is not good enough. Come up with an idea on your own and build it. When you hit a wall and you can't remember or figure something out, Google it. Google is a developer's best friend. Try to figure things out on your own. This will help you to develop good problem solving skills. Now, a lot of people will tell you that you need to know a front end framework before you start applying. I don't think that that's necessarily true. It will definitely help you, but it's not a requirement to start applying. If you do want to learn a front-end framework, I would start with either React or Angular. I personally prefer React, but there are a lot of jobs for Angular as well. But just be aware that Angular, in my opinion, it's harder to learn than React. Now, if your goal is to be a back-end developer, you still need to understand the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but you'll need to focus on back-end technologies and there are many to choose from. There isn't a simple answer here. I can't tell you, you need to learn Java, or you need to learn Go, or you need to learn Python. My advice is to find out what technologies are being used at the companies that you want to work for, or companies in your area of the world. If the local market has a lot of Java jobs available, then learn Java. If it's Go, then learn Go. Do some research, find several companies that you want to work for, and find out what they're using on the back end and then learn that. And don't worry about picking the wrong language. Once you've learned your first programming language, it's much easier to learn another one. Most languages have a lot of similarities. Now, where can you find jobs? Well, there's Indeed, Glassdoor, ZipRecruiter, Monster. Those are all the common everyday sites that you would start looking at. But one of the best places to find a job is LinkedIn. You need to get your LinkedIn profile set up and get your network going on there as soon as possible. I highly recommend that you check out Danny Thompson's LinkedIn playlist to help you get that going. The link is in the description below. And when should you start applying? Well, as soon as you're comfortable with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, just start applying. Even if you don't meet all of the requirements listed, you're going to see tons of requirements. Just apply. Many people are scared to apply if they can't check off every single requirement. Let me tell you a little secret. The company will never find someone with every requirement listed. It just doesn't happen. If you do have every requirement listed, then you might be applying for the wrong job. You should look at a higher level job. So just apply for the job. Even if you don't get the job, you'll get the experience of going through the interview process and hopefully you'll get some feedback and have some takeaways that you can work on. If you don't get the job the first time, it's okay. 
Just keep improving and keep applying. Show humility, show passion, show a willingness to learn. Employers would rather hire someone who has a good attitude and is willing to learn and who's going to work hard. And if you don't know something, be honest. Say, I don't know, but demonstrate that you do know how to figure the problem out. Demonstrate self-motivation, demonstrate problem-solving skills. You also have to know when a problem is too much for you. If you're spending too much time trying to figure something out, it would be better to ask for help. So understand your limitations and be okay with asking for help. Now, did you know that there are other ways to make money as a developer than working for a company? At least nine other ways to be exact. There's freelancing, blogging, contributing to open source, creating a software as a service, creating digital products, one-on-one -on -one mentoring, starting a YouTube channel, live coding and streaming, and creating courses. Now, all of these topics are covered in this ebook from Floor and Pop, 10 plus ways to make money as a developer. If you want to find other ways to make money as a developer, I highly recommend that you check out this book. Most of these can even be done on the side of your day job to bring in some extra income. The link to the book is in the description below. Just remember that you are good enough. Never give up and never stop learning. That's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.